sorting. Shorn alpaca fiber is received at the mill in large bundles. Because each animal's fiber naturally grows in different grades, it must be hand sorted into grades of softness. The fiber goes through a first sorting into coarse, fine, semi-fine, and extra fine grades. These are the umbrella grades. Each grade contains more specific classifications of softness like alpaca 16, imperial, royal, and baby. These grades are separated out during the secondary sorting. Only the softest fibers can be classified baby alpaca, even though these fibers might come from an adult animal. It takes years of experience to recognize the different grades of fiber by touch alone. We are grateful to work with an expert team of sorters. Their role is the first step in creating a superior product. Scouring. Once the fiber is sorted, it moves on to the scouring or washing process. Industrial washing machines gently remove oil, dust, and debris from the yarn without felting or damaging it. Solar electricity is used to heat the water. We use an eco-friendly detergent. Wastewater is captured and treated with a special bacteria that consumes polluting substances. The bacteria produce natural gas which is captured and used, in part, to power the facilities we work with. Carding and combing. After the fiber is thoroughly cleaned, it enters the carding machine. The carding machine is like a giant hairbrush. It removes any remaining debris not already eliminated during the scouring process from the fiber, while smoothing and detangling it. While the average human hair measures around 75 microns in diameter, most baby alpaca, by contrast, is around 22 microns or smaller. Because the fibers that make up yarn are so small, they need to go through several rounds of carding and combing. The goal is to have all the fibers parallel, which means they are all lying in the same direction and ready to spin, completely free of any plant matter or other debris. Fiber that is ready to spin is called a top or a bump. Blending. Sometimes the best yarns are made from multiple types of fiber. A common example is a typical sock yarn, which mixes the softness of merino wool with a touch of nylon for strength and durability. This process of mixing fibers is called blending. The fiber can be passed through the blending process several times to make sure the fiber is thoroughly mixed. Spinning. In the spinning step, the fiber finally begins to resemble yarn. Spinning is the simple act of adding twists to fiber. Twist strengthens fiber, transforming it into yarn or thread that can be utilized in knitting, weaving, crochet, and more. Drafting is the process of stretching the fiber so it becomes thinner and ready to spin. The fiber must pass through several drafting processes until the, it is the correct thickness to be spun into yarn. Each twisted strand is called a ply. Yarn can be constructed as a single ply or as multiple plies. When the yarn leaves the spinning machine, it is wound onto a bobbin. Plying. Before the plying process begins, the yarn is wound onto a cone. While it is wound, a digital eye checks the yarn for breaks, joining the ends using an innovative air splice process. When spinning a yarn with multiple plies, each strand must be spun individually before all the plies are twisted together into a single yarn. After the initial spinning, multi-ply yarns go on to the plying machine. The plying machine spins multiple strands of spun yarn into a single yarn with as many as 24 plies. The yarn takes a quick pass through the retwisting machine and then it is ready for finishing. The yarn is wound into simple hanks, usually weighing 100 grams each. Each hank is tied in three places so it stays secure and does not become tangled during the hand dyeing process. The yarn is then steamed to set the twist and bring out the final look of the yarn. The steaming process dictates many of the qualities of the final yarn. Qualities like density, volume, elasticity, and surface texture are all brought to life during the steaming process. Quality control. 
During the quality control process, our laboratory checks that the fiber meets our high standards. Sophisticated instruments check the softness, length, and the purity of the fiber by measuring a sample. Packaging. Now the yarn just needs some finishing touches before it is complete. Each hank is twisted into a skein by hand. Twisted skeins pack and store well, and best of all, they don't have to be transformed into a skein before dyeing. Finally, the skeins are labeled and packed into bags.